It's just Wu and just the ice. But that's a story for another day. Long story short, I had a very good time with it. And Ooh, I'm here time. now today. We have Icy Mist versus Zero to None. And Ooh, this is going to be Byleth Samus. And those of you who have been here for a while have uh, heard me gushing about Icy Mist. Um, pretty much all stream. Icy Mist is the Samus who actually won uh, Best Ness's most recent tournament. And did so, I mean, obviously Best Ness inspires a lot of people to play Ness. And Ness Samus is a losing matchup for Samus. And to come out on top, uh, despite a losing matchup in a tournament that was very prevalent with that character, definitely is a statement about how good this character can be, but also more so how good Icy Mist is as a player. And you can already see um, the spacing, the movement, uh, the amount of projectiles they shoot, when they shoot projectiles, uh, when they go for other options. It's very pristine, and I never am sure of what Icy Mist is going to do next. I just, I, I, I love hearing you guys about this. I honestly, I'm really into looking at Zero and a Nun. Yeah? Just because of, um, you don't see a lot of Byleth, you know, I think MKLeo. I'm, I'm not calling. Is it? Is it Zero 2 or Zero? Oh dang! It's a zero two. Oh wait, then that's just that's just the 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 darling in the Franks. Oh, that's lame. Anyway, oh, wow. um, don't see regardless of who it is, you don't see. <coughs> excuse me, don't see a lot of Byleth. Um, the the last DLC character. Not all the people were hyped for. I'm kind of in the minority because I was excited because again, I like Fire Emblem. I like Three Houses. Um, so just kind of seeing Byleth in this game and how they kind of play uh, as a character, it's very interesting. Even though they're right now in uh, a stock death set against uh, Icy Mist, I kind of want to see if they can pull out any of their own zoning tools. You know, Byleth has that really strong down smash for starters, but they've also got a strong tipper forward air, back air, um, <coughs> and other things in their kit as well to kind of keep the distance be uh, between them, uh, you know, relatively advantageous for Byleth. I feel like what they're trying to like getting conditioned to do is get these like one up nares. They're trying to find these like opportunities at low percent combos, but they're just not really coming out. Yeah, and uh, I mean, good on uh, Zero Two for evening up this uh, game while they were at a deficit for stock. But it doesn't take his icy mist neck or that much time to uh, take a lead right back. Really, just kind of playing a like a very forward based game, uh, especially for a character who is really hailed as a as a zoner. Um, you know, my, my playstyle with this character, is, uh, with Samus actually, is definitely more up close and personal. But it really seems like Icy Mist is taking their time, you know, finding an opening. Um, if they're not finding an opening, waiting for an opening to appear, or trying to make one um, with the projectiles. Or the Did they just... Icy Mist just spot dodged the fully charged arrow! I respect you. Dude! And, and that, that killed Zero too. That's insane! Well, I'm just, I this I looked in chat. We got Goofy Noofy saying that Zero Two beat my ass. So I'm kind of you know I'm kind of curious now. It's like you see in Zero Two the I guess the exact opposite happening now. Like you know Icy Mist is kind of avenging you. They're doing such a good job just kind of handling this matchup. I feel like Zero Two is just playing so aggressively, and you've you got to think as a zoner main, especially with this kind of playstyle, you can deal with any kind of aggression that gets thrown at you. You know it's going to be really hard to find opportunities to really break your defense or anything. We almost saw the spot dodge read, um, fading back with that, uh, that downer just, like, slightly off. <coughs> Icy Mist just relaxing. Yeah. I really appreciate how much you have to say about this matchup. Good forward smash. Run back forward smash. Um, Icy Mist wasn't ready. Actually dropped their shield and was able to get skewered by that. But I appreciate how much you have to say about this matchup. Uh, because I just got some Spanish rice from downstairs. <laughs> and the forward smash gonna come through. Take that stock. Uh, a JV2 coming out for Icy Mist. And, you know, it did look like Zero Two had a couple of ideas. I mean, obviously getting Icy Mist to last stock. Um, but I want to see if uh, Zero Two can actually take that further. Um, but the amount of pressure that Icy Mist was able to apply, and then the amount of patience to also do the, like, to hang back and not get hit that much, really cool to see. I definitely think that a part of it, uh, just on Zero Two's end, is really just the kind of how you want to approach against Samus, how you want to deal with that character. Because a big part of fighting against these owners is, okay, how do I break their defense? And it's like, I feel like we saw Zero Two go for a lot of the same options. It's like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna do like a run-up Nair, and they're not going to see that. Are, ooh, ooh, okay, they're kind of close to me. I can do I can do like just Nair right here, and then they're going to dash in. They're going to get caught. But Zero Two just kind of stands there. It's like, I don't have to approach you. I don't have to play your game. So it's, they kind of 
you have to play mine and instead of you know throwing out forward air the other moves that can um negate some of these projectiles instead you're having a really hard time just dealing oh. with it. a double character switch seeing Switching fox from palutena oh i see mist with the fox okay okay all right um very cool to see now okay they both switched to uh high tiers or at the very least at the very least high tiers uh both these guys are probably top tiers honestly um yeah, i think fox is top tier i think light's the only one that plays in the that's, that's yeah cool. well i mean certain players of um of these like supposedly you know uh top tier characters and you know I, I, it's really interesting to see that there's only like a certain number of people who are like that good with these characters and they're considered you know top tier you know like uh like e Sam being the only person that plays pikachu right well you know the, the next best person is like not even all that close to him in terms of skill. Yeah. You know? I mean, you got uh, quite a few Palutenas, quite a few, uh, you know, Clouds, not really on the upper echelon of play, but a couple of, like, notable ones, you know? And, yeah. you know, it, it, it's cool to see, you know, certain certain people like Light carry their characters so hard. I mean, how many, how many Zero Suit players you see on the uh, PGR. You see pretty much just Mars, right? I, th I think it's like Mars and then like I think there's like one like Japanese player and I think that might be it. That yeah. Idea. Also, this okay. box is, is very interesting, you know, it, it's kind of seeing, it's funny seeing Icy Mist switch from <coughs> from like Samus zoning you out, standing there shooting out the um, <coughs> oh my god, the charge shot. And now we see Fox kind of playing this still like not totally aggressive, but definitely just kind of back and forth bait and punish style that we saw earlier with kind of Little Neck. Um, except now instead of going for things like, oh, run up, up smash, we're seeing like, I'm going to get this run up forward throw, I'm going to keep you off stage, I'm going to do this like combo, I'm going to double up air. Yeah. Icy Mist really just kind of taking their time and like, calculating his approaches. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, That's something I was actually going to take note of too. I really love to see uh, certain characters switch. You know, because people who, uh, you know, definitely main a character uh, for an extensive period of time, um, when they go to switch characters, sometimes you see, like, uh, not, like, similarities in the, the play style they have. Like, obviously, this is a very slower-paced box. But box can generally run all over you and be like a ball of hot fire that you can't hold. Um, but Icy Mist really, you know, you kind of see in elements of uh, their playstyle as Sam, excuse me, as Sam is coming through, um, you know, playing patiently, you know, not staying in shield a little bit more than you might expect from Fox, not just rushing in, you know, mixing up when you're going to approach, when you're going to hang back, when you're going to, you know, go for more risky options, when you're going to use the safe ones. And it, it's it's really interesting um, to see, you know, this certain, this sort of personalized playstyle come through whenever it's a character that somebody isn't as used to as like their actual main and that is why people usually get so hyped to see certain like other characters come through for some of their favorite players i feel like this definitely goes back to what we said earlier about how it's like it's about the players and not the character um seeing icy mist like really slow fox and in, in zero two i feel like palutena is more kind of what they want out of um out of a character you know um, and, you know, of course, that's kind of like, well, Pelotin is a top tier, and they, they have these, like, forward air goes, so it's so good, and blah, 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 but it's like, you were going for a lot of, like, fastball nares and, like, standing nares, and this is a character whose nares kind of link together and work out, and you were in the lead for, like, a, a decent amount of time, you know, we're, we're down to, like, a last dot game, even though Icy Mist did, like, switch off of the same as, you know, this Pelotin is still doing a little more work than the Bile had an opportunity to. So maybe yeah. this is like the character they should maybe put more time in. Maybe the Bylos is like a test or something. Like I've been playing them for a little while. Let me see how they do in this round one. But but this might be it if, if Zero Two wants to bring it to a game three, which right now looks doable. You know, we've got a whole 30% lead. And they're doing a really good job reacting to Icy Mist's uh, slower pause. Yeah. Um. And And that's another thing. Like, I feel like, oh, nice read there. Ooh, okay. Yeah, um, zero two will not be going uh, zero two versus icy mist. See what I did there? I, I like that one. <laughs> I was thinking about that the whole time you were talking, honestly. Uh, <laughs> but I think the similarities between Byleth and Palutena 
are much closer than the similarities between Samus and Fox, which is honestly very little if you ask my opinion. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I had to say on the subject, but I think those similarities are definitely in favor of um, the Switch for Zero Two instead of Icy Mist, who's completely playing a different character. You have uh, Zero Two playing a character with you know similar assets, like a uh, long-range forward air and a very good nair that's like your main approach option, you know, stuff like that. Now, this is going to be uh, game three of this set. Winner is going to advance into, I believe, top uh, 64 of the bracket. It is top 64, yes. And uh, we have Zero Two going to Yoshi Story um, against Zero Two. Or excuse me, Ice is going to uh, Yoshi Story. Uh, Yoshi. Oh, 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 no. Oh my god, that spike was, that was at like 30. And that box was a test, so like, I want to see how far I can get with this character. And Ice Mist got really far uh, last time. Hasn't been hit yet, one time, might I add. And the aerial combos, I mean, almost took Zero Two off the top there. I was, I was about to uh, take a note on this stage choice. This is a good Samus stage, it's a triplat. Um, and Samus is very good at sharking, and then, you know, Samus does have some fat, some aspect of uh, vertical combo. The thing is, Palutena's, like, the majority of her kills from center stage are going to be off the top. And um, if Zero Two can get their bearings in this matchup, I, I would be very interested to see how they use the sword of healing. Ooh. But oh, the under. shorter side blast zones are going to allow the ledge trapping from Icy Mist to be doing a lot more as well. Okay, that was cool. Okay, got that that nice thirty percent or thirty-eight percent combo. Oh my god! So nice percent. Yeah. Already after like three hits, eighty-one percent, at ninety-six percent. Icy Mist is going insane never, right now. Going <laughs> Dude, that was such a good like using the bomb into um charge shot. I've never thought about doing that because I always see it as like a lead trapping tool. Um, but I never see I've never seen like anybody confirm off of it with that. That was really clean. And like immediately come out of the gate swinging with like a thirty percent combo, keeping that momentum up. Um, and now it's like they're already at 120. Like the Fox was literally just like, I want to see what I can do with this character. And then they ended up switching to the Palutena as well. I kind of like Zero Two sticking with this character, not switching back to the Bios, but now you're at 120, you Palutena, you're not totally heavy. Small side blast zones, and that's it. The JV3 stock coming out from Icy Mist. Um, throwing the L Smash out in the air to celebrate. Zero Two might not have gone Zero Two versus Icy Mist, but it was two to one in favor of Icy Mist. And like I was saying, definitely